Alright, yeah, here we go. You ready? Uh, it's oh, been rolling. It's barrel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you was on some op shit. I was cruising down a nigga block with a chopstick. Rock star nigga. Nah, I need a rock bitch. We want beef, not veggies, not squash bitch. That bad boy like to talk. We pop out with mops. You gon' shoot a little. We gon' shoot a lot. I rock out with the chop, bitch. I rock very hard. She thought it was my cock, but my clock very hard. School was very hard. Bitch, I'm very hard. Take it very hard. Take it fairly hard. Chop, chop, chop up with it. What's up with it? Cooling, you know, big and back. Alright. That's how we rocking already this yeah, morning. Yeah, that's how we rocking this afternoon. Afternoon, alright. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Mm hmm How's then how's your morning then since uh it's only the afternoon shit? My morning. My morning was straight. I woke up this morning around 10. It's not that early, but got, <laughs> got a good lift in in the morning, take care of the body, you know. And then this. Thanks for letting me know you're lifting this morning too. You're welcome. I didn't even know. <laughs> Tragic. Just wake up and go. All right, so where are you from? Where am I from? Originally, I was born in Milwaukee. I moved around quite a bit when I was younger. I lived there for like nine years, and then after I moved from there, I went to uh, I went to I moved to ATL Georgia. ATL Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I lived there. I lived there for about two to three years. Some stuff went down there, uh, where I had to move back with my pops originally. So all those jokes are dead. I actually do know. <laughs> So I moved down to with my dad for like two years about in Milwaukee and that was that was straight. And then from there I didn't really like it with my dad's because I lived with my mom my whole life. So I just chose to go live with my mom and she was currently at Wausau, Wisconsin. So that's how I ended up there back back in Wisconsin, which is tragic but right. from there I lived in Wausau I don't even remember how long I lived in Wausau it was from like fourth grade to my seventh grade and then oh fuck yeah <laughs> fourth grade to seventh grade and then I moved here in Oshkosh my eighth grade year and I've been here ever since so that's the story about where I'm from <laughs> Casting couch. Catch you with that casting couch question all right, so how we first meet? How we first meet? Yeah. We first met back when you were a freshman and I was a sophomore in high school. <laughs> lifting class, not even lifting class, just lifting for football. And it was, it was kind of awkward because of me. Cause I knew, I don't know, it was just something about me. I knew I was gonna fuck with you for a long time. It was like, I already knew that. It was just something about you. I already know this. This gonna be my. This gonna be my nigga. Right. If I say that. Yeah, nigga. Anyways, yeah. I, I was just being awkward to you though because I was like, I don't know. I was just making it. I was just fucking with you to make it seem like I didn't actually, you know, mess with you like that. But I couldn't deny the fact that every time you was around, you made me laugh. So I was just caved in, and then from there we just had a beautiful friendship. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I don't forget. I remember when I first came. I'm like, damn. This dude is a dickhead. Yeah, I'm like, oh, fuck this dude. I was only a sophomore and I was being a dick to you. It was like, it didn't even make sense. But I was just like, nah. And then that's what I was confused about because I'm like coming into high school. I'm like, damn, this dude's only a year older than me. <laughs> and I remember telling Javon, I'm like, damn, who the fuck is Bernard? He was like, oh, Bernard. He was like, yeah, don't worry about it. He's funny as fuck. Like, I got yet to see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it was like, practice started. I'm like, damn. This thing is funny as fuck. Right. <laughs> like, when it was, it was over then, cause like out of the like little clicks or whatever, you know, I ain't talking to just my sophomore buddies anymore. I'm talking to the freshmen too. Right. I don't know. It's just when you see freshmen come into the high school, you just think like I, I guess you got that mindset when you're in high school that freshmen are just like, they all suck. You know what I mean? Right. But they then at the same asked. time, it's like it's gonna be my little homie. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now it's the little big homie. Whatever. So I was like, in a way, I was like, I mean, I have Javon, but and then like. I'm not really trying to be around him like that because, you know, older brother type shit. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, I got Bernard, so now I know, like, my ropes around shit. Right. And it's been like that since you graduated. And then I go into senior year, I'm like, damn, Bernard ain't here. <laughs> like, crucial. I'm like, I ain't gonna see him in the hall, in the classes. Bro, honestly, though, like, with me and you, like, in the beginning, 
it just it just felt like family like right away. Like, I swear. It, it, like we didn't we like skipped the whole friend stage and everything. Like we just we just went straight to it and I just like clicked with your family, your brothers, like Trayvon and all of them. It's just it's straight. It's been like that, right? It felt like it belonged, right? You know I, mean? I even asked you too. I was like, I was like, is it Bernard your brother? <laughs> yeah, he has it. Yeah, he was like, I, to I, this I, day, I, I'm still telling people that's my real brother. <laughs> I gotta ask him. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, bro, is Bernard your brother? He's like, no, bro. I'm like, oh shit. They, but they believe, right? Because like, oh, you guys are twins. Yeah. As as, <laughs> if there was a stage in high school. It was sophomore, my sophomore year, his junior year. People like, are you guys twins? I'm like, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, there was. A, I remember one time there was a substitute in our uh, marketing class, and she was like. Kevon Lee and Bernard said my name. He's like here, and she's like Bernard Smith, and I'm like here <laughs> for the entire time, bro. <laughs> I was like, she would like call on who we were, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm Bernard, and he's like, yeah, I'm Kevon. And I was like, all right. <laughs> we were doing it. I and I especially remember like with that shit, like even now, so there'd be some people who like, is Bernard your brother? Like, or I'll get the people like some people add me on Snapchat, and they be like, oh yeah, I know your brother. I'm like, oh Trayvon, well and they're like. Trayvon, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> like, Javon, no, like, how old are you, <laughs> they're, like, they're like, I'm like a year older than you, I was like, who, who are you talking about, they're like, Bernard, I'm like, yeah, that's not my brother, but like, <laughs> like, but like, oh, it really is, right, <laughs> I'm like, right, like, <laughs> tight shit, I'm like, all right, whatever, so what did you think you were going to do when you were older, like, what would you, as a kid, like, what was the, the big Yo, goal you wanted to have, it's crazy, as a kid, when I, when as a kid, you always have the biggest dreams, mm-hmm. like the most like far-fetched ones that you probably don't think will be actually real to actually accomplish when you get older. So as a kid, I thought one of my biggest dreams was to become a NFL football. You know, I want to be in the NFL mm-hmm. and just do that. And then it just kept on changing as I as I grow older. And um, but in reality, any of the dreams that you have aren't really far-fetched so if you want to chase being in the nfl it's all with the time and the grind that you put in like, honestly. Really awesome. so yeah. it went from it went from uh, being an nfl star to making music to being a being a chef honestly i all that stuff is still accomplishable but or probably not the nfl so <laughs> I, i'm a little late on that <laughs> but it's still accomplishable but that's what that's what the dreams were as a kid all right, so what was your opinion on high school? Your general opinion. General opinion? Look, high school is uh, it's fun and whatever, but uh, I only did it to just... Uh, is it to? Yeah, pretty much because I had to. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, I wasn't really with the school part, even though, like, it was all cool when I was younger. It was just like, yeah, reading and all this shit. But as you grow up, you don't really want to do that stuff, basically, because right. it's just like not what you really want to do farther off in life. Like I think college is also bullshit because they make us uh, they're making you pay for f- fucking high school that you just you know those classes that you just took in high school. Right. I don't know. High school is cool and all. Enjoy it while you can because you're not gonna get those days back. It goes by faster than you think too. It goes by a lot faster, but I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily go back because after high school your circle gets a little smaller, but when your circle gets smaller then that's when you know who you actually can fuck with. <laughs> right. Cuz I know for a fact half the people I talked to in high school, I know I'm not friends with now cuz I just there's no point to it. I'm like our relationship was based off having a class together, so right. it's like Honestly, the most fun thing about high school was pretty much going to school, seeing your buddies, and sports. Like, you know, the whole sports thing was, it was pretty fun, you know, being involved in something and winning. <laughs> right. That's where you go to that shot. All right, so what is your view on life? My view on life? Low-key, this is one of the questions I, I thought you were going to ask, and I was kind of ready for uh, My view on life? I say, do what you gotta do to make like your living. Like right now, I'm going to school to make a living, to make money. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, my view on life is if you have a dream, then you gotta do whatever you can to go chase that dream and follow that dream because you don't wanna die or do anything and leave nothing behind. 
like you don't want to have any regrets and say I wish I would have done that on your deathbed or I wish I would have done this. So if you have any dream to accomplish or any dream, just chase it, please. Ain't nobody really out here gonna stop you from doing anything. So do what you gotta do. So how do you think people view you? View me? I feel like people view me <clears throat> as this goofy kid. Um, I feel like I'm easy to get along with, but at the same time, if I don't, if, if you feel like I don't fuck with you, you're probably right, but you're probably wrong. So you don't, you never know until you actually get to know me or talk to me a little bit. But at the same time, I don't really know how people view me and I don't, I, I care, but I don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be like that sometimes like, though. I, I don't know, like I, I'm, I'm not out here living for nobody else, so what do I care if they, how they view me? But I try to, I try to portray an image that uh, that's easy. I don't know how I'm trying to say this, but um, I'm not trying to be like a person that isn't approachable or you know what I mean, like a negative person or anything. Yeah. So if you're trying to view me as something, if you want to view me as something, come get to know me, and you actually see that I probably ain't the, the worst person. You know what I mean? <laughs> so are you more outgoing or more introvert? Because I because oh. me I know you, so I know you're a little both because like you kind of have to be. Yeah, I feel like I'm a little bo both, but I would mainly want to be more outgoing. But the only, the introvert only comes to me when it's like, I don't, I don't necessarily like fuck with the person like heavy. So like say, I don't like you, I, I'm not gonna go out of my way. If I don't like you, I'm not gonna go out of my way to be fake and buddy buddy with you if I don't like you. So that's why I'm gonna be a little introverted to you. And you, you may not know why I don't like you or anything, but like at the same time I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be fake to you. So there's no reason for me to be outgoing if I if I don't like you, you know what I mean? Sure, I don't know, yeah. it's kinda hard to explain, but you get it. <laughs> Actually I have two, I think I have two. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. What type of girls are you into? <laughs> Ones with thick old boot. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> what type of girls am I into? Shit. Um, I don't know. I ain't up. I ain't into like nothing too, too extra, too bougie or anything. But like, I necessarily don't have a type either. One thing, I guess, if you just show me that you all the way down for me, then I can show you that I'm all the way down for you. I ain't really into like the game plan or anything right now. I don't know, like. What's a, what's a deal breaker? What's a deal breaker? Absolute deal breaker. An absolute deal breaker. I don't know, I, bro, I think it's mainly personality. Like, if, you're per, if I can click with your personality, then I think it can work. But like, you gotta have good morals too, you know what I mean? Like, right, I look key, <clears throat> I like you like girls that are, uh, like chill with their family, like, you know, like good morals. There ain't like a complete B word. I'll never call a girl a B. All what right. a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, like you, get, you just can't, I don't like the negativity. So if you can just, you know, rock with me, I'll rock with you. I'm looking, I'm looking for like that 90s love, you know what I mean? No, like, I don't know. I've been looking for a while, but <laughs> it's it's hard to find real shit like that. Especially around and here. And now and nowadays, man, it's not even just around here. It's just just nowadays, it's hard to find shit like that. But hey. So, where do you see yourself thirty years from now? Thirty years from now? Because you are twenty right now. I'm twenty right now. All right. I've been trying to tell all my friends that Yellow Lambo by twenty five. So, if we go on thirty years from now. Uh, this might sound a little, a little big and out, like out there, but if you don't have big dreams for yourself or have a, I don't know, no goals, then shit, you ain't really doing nothing in your life. So, 30 years from now, I, I got a wife and kids, possibly two. I don't want to necessarily don't want to go over two, but if three happens, then it's, it's a mistake. Just know that. Oh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, probably two. I think about like two houses maybe three because I, I want to have one down south and possibly throw one up here um you know like multiple car garage 
just out, you know, just living life to the fullest, pretty much. Doing what I want. Hopefully with a job that uh, I don't want to blow my brains out at, you know. <laughs> just, just fucking... What else, man? What else would I want 30 years from now? I'd be 50? Shit. <laughs> 50? That's a long time away. Uh, shit, yeah. I mean, if I, if I ain't got that, those things right there, then I, I ain't do nothing yet. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's where I see myself right now. Hopefully. So, what do you think you got out of this interview? Well, I think I got out of this interview. And what do you think the people got what are watching the, this got out of this? The people? About you. I think the people got what they wanted. All right, uh, ne- not necessarily. If y'all want to know anything else, let my boy know. You can get some more interviews in here and some uh, more good questions. He has some fantastic questions, but I think y'all got a lot out of me that you probably didn't know. Probably wouldn't expect it, probably. It's okay. But yeah, that's just me.